Hi everyone, this is a video about this LG wireless surround sound kit. The model number is SPK8-S 140 watt RMS, 70 watt each channels and it comes with uh, some other LGs that ends with Y that um, they can benefit from pairing with these, uh, you know, wireless uh, surround sound speakers. And this is the receiver and this, these are the speakers. And I was amazed at how easy it was to set everything up. And when you open this, everything is in there. I get everything out of the box and lay them on the table. And then we are going to talk more. So this is everything out of the box and it just came with two cables and then the user manual that is very uh, limited and that's it because it's very simple to connect these and uh, we are going to explain how you can do that and this is about this ferrite that you can connect to the cable to avoid any interference with the uh, other frequencies that they are coming towards this because this is a wireless system and then it comes with a receiver which is a glossy black all round at the front and the mat to the sides I'm going to show you properly when I'm going to explain everything. And then there are two speakers that they are plastic, but it has a metal mesh all around. But there is something that I was a little bit upset with. And if you look at the top, you can see this part, you know, it can, uh, it's, it's not really flat, flush to the to this part, but you, you can push it in. But still, is it doesn't affect the functionality of this. And if I can, uh, you know, reflect the light somehow, you can see the size of the uh, driver that you have in, in there. But it's, um, it, you know, feels substantial and is a little bit too heavy for one speaker inside. I guess one day I'm going to open this and see what is happening inside here. And uh, you have uh, just two connector here. Nothing is written here to signify that this one is left or right. So whichever that you choose is going to be good. And then the way to put this ferrite in there, I just show you, is just make a loop here. You just open it first and then make a loop around this ferrite like so and then close it that's it it can be anywhere around this cable but preferably somewhere uh, you know close to this end or that end so i'm gonna uh, show you how and this one as i mentioned is uh, you know uh, glossy black like piano finish that is fingerprint magnet and that's really it and at the back we have this there is a fan and there is some sort of air vent I guess at the bottom that the air is going drawn in and then from here is going out or your is going in and then nothing at the bottom, but these two speakers uh, clearly blue for the left and gray for the right, uh, you know, marked like so. And then here we have a hole to punch in to for pairing if it doesn't pair automatically. But uh, my experience was uh, so easy, you didn't even and need to press this as soon as the item is on as you see the fingerprint magnet and the 
aluminium, brushed aluminium finish here, plastic, old plastic. And we have the same aluminium style brushed aluminium here. And all is plastic, but this grill that it goes all around to the side and the front is metal. So that's really it. But I think that we have only, uh, let's see, I get my torch to see how many speakers we have in there. So this is my faithful torch that is really uh, bright. I guess we only have one speaker in there. Yes, as you see, nothing else anywhere else. I was hoping to see a tutor or something of that sense, but it's just one speaker in one driver in there. And that's it. And I'm going to connect everything and uh, tell you how it's done. We have a blue for the left cable and the gray for the right cable, but it doesn't matter which one you're going to use. I'm going to connect it and come back and play a, a copyright free song to see how it goes. And I show you the app as well. So everything is connected and these are, I, uh, I missed those. These are some sort of product, uh, you know, uh, information that, you know, you can purchase online. And then here is the warranty and how to register your item. And that's really it. And now everything is connected. But in the user manual, it mentions that uh, it's very adamant that you have to observe the negative to negative, positive to positive. And the left and right has to be, you know, for your own uh, pleasure, it has to be observed which one is right, which one is left, because when you are going to put this behind you, yeah, your left and right is opposite of when you are uh, standing in front of this. Anyhow, as soon as you turn the uh, item on while your main unit, in my case, the model number is SN7CY. Uh, as soon as that one is on, when you turn it on, uh, it's going to pair automatically. If it doesn't pair, you press the pairing button that I showed you at the back, and then it goes to uh, certain colors, this LED, there is LED there, uh, from red, amber, and green. And when it's set, is standing as green. And when you turn the unit off, uh, your main unit off, this one, it goes to a standby and blinks the green light. We are going to show that anyway. And then we are going to play a song, copyright free song, and then have a look at the app as well. So I get everything ready and we talk more. So I have turned the main unit on and now we are turning the uh, surround the speakers on and soon you can see the green light blinks and then it stands uh, as blink. Uh, it means everything is connected and I just uh, show you the app as well, what you can do with the app. <clears throat> and this is the settings of the app. You have to go and uh, turn on the surround settings. And the surround settings on, on this is the rear speaker. Uh, you see the volume is minus six, so if the volume is down, we can uh, raise it from here up to plus six. And that's really it. So let's uh, play a song and see how it goes. First, let's 
this is at the minimum and now if we go to the rear speaker levels we can raise the volume here and this is the maximum but remember the volume of this is just that much so you you have the option of raising the volume or which you can do that with the remote as well but i want you wanted you to listen to this without and with the surround sound this is without and this is with I'm afraid I cannot raise the volume so much because of the neighbors and so on so let's respect them and leave the level at this much but you can see that is a good addition to your system if you want to have this the reason that I had this is because I opted for the standalone um, uh, uh, soundbar, so I don't have any bass and I don't uh, have any surround sound before. And now we have only the surround sound, but not the bass, but my standalone unit, it has some passive bass speakers, you know, at the back. Somehow it suffice for me because you never can raise the volume so much when you are in a flat. And apart from that, I have another system that is capable of, you know, proper surround sound uh, 5.1 surround sound that it, the bass is um, a lot substantial than this one but it still is is a good addition to your system you can just put it away and there are no cables that is running to your main system is good and the price of this the price of this varies from 140 pounds up to two under 200 pounds but I got this as a discount at 110 pounds. So if you can find this at 110 or even less, I am fully uh, recommend this. But above that amount of money, I do not recommend this because this is just giving you two speaker behind yourself and that's it. So this was my opinion and unboxing about this. Uh, surround speakers, wireless surround speaker, SPK8-S and I fully, as I mentioned, recommend this um, at a reasonable price rather than the highest price. If you then you find it expensive ones, you better off with, you know, purchasing a whole sound system that is already have these two included. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video and until my next video, take care of yourself and each other and as always, have a great time.